Hi guys, it's Rob from SorterOutside.net here. This is a quick video just to show you how to change this into this, adding 175,000 new player faces to Football Manager 2017. First of all, you're going to want to visit SorterOutside.net. The link to this mega pack will be in the description at the end of this video. Once you're here, you'll see there's a big download full pack button. If you're a premium member, then you can just click this button and it will pop straight up and you can see I've already downloaded it there. If you're not a premium member, then you'll see a slightly different screen when you click download full pack. Here we're asking for donations. The site costs a lot of money to run and has been running for over 10 years now. We don't have any adverts, instead all our funding comes from premium membership. If you do sign up for premium membership, the file will pop up straight away like you saw just now and you'll get much faster downloads. Please take the time to read all the information on this page about how we run the site. It works out to just 83p a month. If you don't wish to donate, you can simply scroll to the bottom of the page where you'll find some free mirrors. These mirrors won't come from the sort of outside.net servers and might be a bit slower. One option is a torrent. We only release the torrent file once a year at the very start of the year. After that, we release update packs every single month with two or three thousand changes. Unfortunately, these are only available via our loaded.net or dear files, or of course from our servers if you're a premium member. It doesn't matter if you choose uploaded.net or dear files.eu. Both files are exactly the same on both, so if you don't wish to download some of the files from uploaded.net and some from dear files.eu, that's fine. You'll see they all come split into different parts. This is because we can't upload an 8GB file to these sites, unfortunately, so we have to split them into lots of smaller, more manageable parts. If you download part 1 from uploaded.net, it will be exactly the same as part 1 on DF files. You can get part 2 from DF files, then part 3 from uploaded, however you want. You see now I've clicked on uploaded.net. You want this free download link I've just highlighted there. And sometimes adverts can pop up that look like download buttons. Please don't click any of these. This is the button you want where it says free download. I'll just go back and show you DF files as well. Again, you want to click this button here that says regular download. There may be ad adverts around the page that look like download buttons. Please don't click any of those. Just click this one button that says regular download right here. Once the download is completed, you'll be left with this file right here. Sort it out inside Cutout Mega Pack. It's a raw file. Simply double click on it and it will extract into this folder called Sort It Out SI. Please ignore these other files here. These are just some other downloads I'll be doing. And I'll be doing videos on how to add kits and mega packs very soon. If you download it in parts, each of your files will have the same name as this with the words dot part one dot part two etc at the end. Simply click on the very first one called part one and all of them should extract um, automatically. You don't need to extract each part file uh, separately. Once you've got this sorted out SI folder, you just need to drop it into the Football Manager 2017 directory. I've created a favourites here on my um, Mac, but I'll show you where it is. It's here at the bottom. Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2017. If you're on Windows, it's very similar. It's just My Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2017. I just dropped it in here, so it's gone there. I need it into the Graphics folder. These here are my kits and mega packs. You can ignore those for now. If you don't have a Graphics folder, simply just create it and drop this sort out OSI file right inside. Now back in Football Manager, you can see we still don't have faces on our players. These are the kits and logos I was talking about just now. Again, check out my other videos to find out how to add those. To get the faces, we're going to want to click on the FM button up in the top right and then go to Preferences. From the Preferences drop down, go to Interface. From here you'll see some buttons such as Use Caching to decrease page loading times and Reload Skin when confirming changes in Preferences. You want to have both of these ticked. Then simply clear your cache, you'll be taken back to this screen again, go back into preferences, go to interface, reload skin, and it may take a while since there's nearly 200,000 images here. And then once it's finished you'll have player faces for all the major Premier League teams, as well as most teams in the game, like I say we've got over 180,000. If there's some youth players that are missing faces, don't worry, that's because the game was just released this week. We add update packs every single month, 
So keep checking back and download the small update hack with three or four thousand new and improved images every single month to make sure you've got all the latest players. Thank you for watching and check the description for all the links.